dentist, Steve Gutenberg, is coming. All right. <laughs> All right. You know he's a dentist, Gutenberg, in real life. He studied dentistry. Actor slash dentist. We can help you out with a lot of this stuff. Yeah. We can save you a lot of time. If you have a question for Penny Marshall, give it to me and I'll... Uh... Butch Patrick's coming, who played Eddie Munster. Butch Patrick? You know anything about him? Uh, that, Eddie... that was not his real widow's peak. I can tell you that much. All right. Like, like, uh, so well, like, uh, Johnny, help us. This, this yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. I, I, I got, I got uh, distracted. It's all right. The timing's a little weird because the question I was going to ask you wanted to ask about Butch Patrick. Huh? <laughs> well, this is kind of inspired by Leonard Nimoy's second book, where he says, you know, he could relate to, he kind of became Spock. Yes. After playing a character that's iconic, did it affect your sense of self? Was you, there a part of Data and Riker that stays with you, or that maybe, maybe that you were sympathetic with when you did play it? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually a good question for you. Do I feel the Christ, like you feel, you feel Christ-like? Christ -like. No. No. <laughs> you feel omnipotent. Do you feel as powerful and as thoughtful as David? Do you feel like you struggle with the human emotions? Do you feel fully functional sexual? As thought you are. I'll get to the next question for you. <laughs> you owe me one. I do, I thank you. I Well, do you play the trombone? How's your how's your arm for sure? Terrible. I, I was a fifth grade band dropout, but I tried. I, I, because because you had long arms. Oh, you tried because Riker was cool. Riker was cool. Riker was my hero. Wait, wait, say that again. Riker was my hero. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> if I, if I, you still play? I still play. I don't play well. But I you never did? I, I never did. <laughs> I played loudly. When the, when the trombone playing on Star Trek was really good, yeah. it was Bill Watrous. <laughs> yeah. When it was exactly. loud, it was me. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and Brent, do you still play the violin? You know, play I... Play the violin. <laughs> he puts it right under his chin. <laughs> Happy I, I know this because I actually was in this show in the... Broadway production, uh, you might remember. Uh, sit down, John! That show? I've come to the conclusion. No. Okay. Uh, uh, I, did you see him in 1776, anybody? You did. You right? saw me? All right, how many people were there? Let's see. Let me see those. Let me, I, let me count. Wait a minute. How many people? Don't get to New York. It's, uh, it's far away. Yeah. You know who's coming to Pittsburgh? Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett's going to be playing the Heights Hall. He's going to be doing some of his great American songbook. You know what You know what happened to Frank Sinatra? What? Tony Bennett. <laughs> I'd like to sing. Are you, still, are you still recording this? You turned it off. The red light's still on. I think everybody turned it off and they went, this is just wasting uh, power. <laughs> this is good. I'll get you another question. You're doing a great job up there, Thank Brent. you. I didn't actually play the violin to give you the answer to that. I, uh, How do you feel about that cat? I hated that cat. You know what? Spot. Spot cost us more time. That was the most unprofessional cat I've ever seen. I, never I, not... I love cats. Yeah, but do you like cats on stage with you? There was more than one cat. Yeah, there, there was, was more. There was a sleeping Spot. cat. There was a walking cat. Spot, Spot was a time waster. At least say, I can say ugly, too, for a cat. Surprisingly ugly. I think it's a good time to tell a story about Marina's little dog, Skilag. <laughs> Let me say some, one thing about Spot, if I might. Go ahead. Go in Spot's defense. In Spot's defense. Okay, Spock was a lousy actor. That's what I know. That. But everyone can't be talented. You know that. <laughs> nice one, Centurion. Locked him in the back. Uh, you know, tell us a story, will you? Did Marina ever tell you about her little dog, Skilagi? She had a little Yorkie that looked like a rat. 
And it was only, it really was, it was a horrible non-dog. It was one of those dogs that you could sort of, it was a cat. Drop. It wasn't even a cat. It was like a rat. And it, it rains one day a year in Los Angeles. On this day, she decided to bring Skilaki to work. Skilaki's soaking wet. Marina comes into the makeup trailer, which is an entrance in itself because she's got to become Counselor Troy. We knew that would take a while. So our, our friend Michael Dorn, who played Dwarf Turtlehead, you probably remember him. He and I, being friends of Marina and also really team players, we offered to uh, take Skilaki and dry him off. So we put Skilaki in the microwave. We put it on for 45 seconds. The little dog spun around like that. And then we had him for lunch. We had him for lunch. <laughs> no, uh, we did not really do it. We put him in the microwave, yeah. but we it was like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> exactly. True story. Yeah. Also, while we're on the subject of Michael Dorn, you know one time, Let's say you're Michael Dorn and I'm Patrick right. Stewart. Okay. Tell him, show them how that he cracked that egg. He on would Patrick's always head. come up behind you. He'd be on the horseshoe, we called it. Yeah. And he'd come up behind Patrick and he'd go. Uh, yeah. I'll view him everywhere. Everywhere. Not to mention, he had no respect for our captain. <laughs> Why would you really? Number one, to me. I have never in my 30 years in the theater been treated like this. You know what? I have done that before. I've, people have knocked on my door and I've gone, to me! And they go, to me? What does that mean? <laughs> to me? You mean come in? Okay, go ahead. I had a legitimate question that I just have got to ask you. Would you please say, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> is that from a movie? Commander, what you 